Welcome back, everybody. There are classic cocktails out there, like a dirty martini or a Tom Collins, <laughs> that will always stand the test of time. But some others, they could use a bit of a refresh. So we reached out to you, our lovely viewers, to find out which old school drinks you wanted to see get a timely update. Here with her retro cocktail revamps is the founder and beverage director of Liquid Culture, Monica Carbonell. Yay! Hi, guys. So Monica, why do you believe some of these older cocktails that have been around forever are ready for an update? So honestly, retro cocktails are great. Uh, but the thing is, uh, with time, bad ingredients kind of got in the uh, way. So what uh, I want to do is show you how it's supposed to be done, the right ingredients involved, okay. or I'm revamping them to make them a little bit more current and purposeful. Well, a lot of our viewers sort of wrote into us about the Long Island iced tea. Mm. And this is a great one to start with. What is it about that that you think could use a refresh? Okay, so the original Long Island iced tea is a combination of vodka, gin, rum, Tequila and triple spec. Oh my oh, god, I didn't know that. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> So did people get in. lazy? Did people yeah. get lazy? Is that what happened? It's not <laughs> that. That is an upgraded jungle juice. Like, all, <laughs> like straight up. So that's why I like to make cocktails that actually you can taste the ingredients right. and you know what you're having. Yeah. So, and also the Long Island, Island iced tea doesn't have tea in it. So again, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I don't so, think I've ever had one. All right, we're going to make your updated version now yes. then, right? Okay. Yes. So I'm actually going to be uh, preparing it and explaining it like a burger. Okay? okay. Like the ingredients. But you've kind of renamed it. Yes. You called it the Hamptons? Yes, I did. Oh, 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 oh. Where do we start? Love, love, love. All right, so ladies, we're going to grab the Los Sietes Mezcal. We're going to pour a quarter ounce of that, okay? okay. So okay. this well. is like the sauce of your burger, okay? You only need a little bit to go a very, very long way. Okay. So we're going to add... <laughs> <laughs> oh, your shock vest is right here. This yes, little bad I don't know what yeah, a quarter yeah. ounce looks like. <laughs> Looks like so. I'll grab it. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. It's fine. Then we're gonna grab our blended whiskey. So we're using Grant's blended whiskey, and we're gonna pour one ounce. One so ounce. So this okay. is the burger. Like this is the meat oh, of your burger. Tell me what okay. This looks like. Tell me, it's just this full the shot full, Like okay, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, right. Right. yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so an ounce of that. This is your meats, your spices, everything. It's full bodied. I love this Grant's. Then we're gonna add the Gosling's Overproof Rum. Okay. okay. So we're adding. Um, Three quarters of an ounce, so right. 7, uh, 0.75. I can eyeball and that. And this is like your cheese, okay? So Ooh. it acts um, as a little bit of that kind of sweet, savory, but and a just linker. a little. A link or connector, right? A connector. Yes. And a little bit goes a long way, yeah. you know? That cheese okay. is essential. And then let's finish off with some Hennessy. So we're adding in some oh, yeah. BS. This is the brandy, you're gonna pour half an ounce. So what? this is like your bread, because what I love Light about Hennessy is it has that sweet and savory component, which holds mm. everything together just like a bread. Now we're gonna dump the rest of the ingredients, okay? <laughs> so this is your breakfast tea, steeped, oh, unsweetened. Okay, measure okay. for us. all of it. Got it. One ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, okay? okay. And then a little bit of simple syrup, okay? Oh, just to round all everything right. out. Okay. So let's shake, ladies. Okay, right. let's shake. We love you. You look good. It looks good on you. Oh my God. So lady. The is going to kill me. All right. So let's pour it over our hurricane glass that's filled okay. with ice. Yes. Yeah, oh gorgeous, gosh. right? Look at the audience is gasping. Woo. And now let's add a little bit of that lemon wheel okay. and enjoy, ladies. Okay. Look at okay. that, ladies. Cheers. 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 <laughs> it better be worth it. Worth the spill. Let's see. This is delightful. Right? This is oh so God. wonderful. This is very not exciting. like this is not the Long Island iced tea no, that we know order, that. right? This is I mean, this is way it's punch. It's yeah. way punchier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so next we're covering the Singapore Sling. This was definitely the most requested drink from our viewers. It's one where you're sticking, you're sticking close to the original recipe on this one. So what needs refreshing? Okay, so honestly, there is nothing wrong with the Singapore Sling. Love it. The problem is, okay, well, you have sophisticated ingredients that's used. The problem is where most people go wrong is they're substituting the wrong ingredients. Precision is so key. You okay. have to be very precise about the measures. Okay. Which we're not doing right now. All right. 
<laughs> Thank you. We do need to shake this cocktail. Okay. So this is this is an essential. Now, one of the uh, the classic calls for cherry herring. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely taste it. That's okay. what you have right here. Okay. All right. Now, cherry herring is something that isn't available on our shelves, unfortunately. I'll say so, right now, it looks nothing like the Singapore sling that people think is a Singapore sling, yeah, right? That's like neon yeah. red. Yeah, no. So you want to get a quality cherry liqueur since we don't have access to the traditional one. Oh. How tasty is that? It's so good. It's yeah. so good. And I think that people stay away, or I've stayed away from it because of the grenadine. Like, I it wasn't, I don't know, it seemed kind of gross, right? Yeah, well, grenadine, I know what a lot of people are exposed to, and it's what's in the supermarket, and yeah. I'm actually going to have you taste test it. So oh you see gosh, that neon stuff this. there? So okay. the neon stuff is the, neon this is, is what bad. What bad. You buy okay. bad stuff at the This is what makes the, yeah, okay. This is a, it is a crucial part of the cocktail. That's and like then, a Shirley Temple overload. No, it's, right? yeah. Yeah. it's cough medicine. Now, it's I gross. want you to try the good quality grenadine, because grenadine is actually based out of pomegranate juice, married with spices, uh, orange blossom, flower, sugar, right? Oh, my and this excellent, is, an excellent lesson this done like right now. This is everyone to this do it This is high all. end, this is knockoff, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Woo! So okay. lastly, our viewers asked for a refresh of a cocktail I'd never heard of before. We asked Mel back today and she's like, oh yeah, I made so many of those. It's called the Porn Star <laughs> Martini. What is this? Have you guys heard of it? Okay, so listen, I cringed a little bit, uh, but I was totally up for this challenge. Uh, the original calls for vanilla vodka, okay. vanilla simple syrup, oh. passion fruit, uh, passion fruit liqueur that you can't find in Ontario, and lime and champagne. Okay, so what? Listen, passion fruit and vanilla, it works. It's a great okay. flavor combination. But something I will never have on my bar is vanilla vodka. I'm sorry. <gasps> it's not gonna happen. It's Why gonna collect it? dust. So anyway, yeah. what, I want you to do, <laughs> what I want you to do is top up with some sparkling. Okay. All right, right here. Because we're, we completely revamped this cocktail. I'm making you top up with some sparkling wine. Okay. And in it, we have some, uh, I replaced the vodka with tequila. We're <gasps> using 1800 oh, tequila, okay. but coconut flavored. Gorgeous. And this is gorgeous. Like, so we're gonna love it. What, what, tell me the history of the, the, bub, like, the bubbles though. Okay, so the point of the side champagne for this serve is because um, the creator wanted to create this drink for lovers, okay? Uh -huh. So originally it was, you would have the fresh passion fruit, feed each other, okay, this fresh passion fruit, <laughs> cleanse the palate with a little bit of champagne and then sip the cocktail. How do you oh. like it, lover? It's How so do you like it, lover? lover? I love <laughs> it and I love you, Monica. This has been so fantastic. A refreshing taste. Huh? I love it. To find these reinvented retro recipes, check out our YouTube account after the show. But stick around, everyone, because we're up for a very moving chat with the author of the memoir, The Long Road Home. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>